Hey, welcome back to the Side Goggle and Jack channel. Let's do a quick weekly pocket dump, and then let's take a quick flip through of my everyday carry notebook, which is a traveler's company passport size. And I'm using this as a little pocket bullet journal. All right, let's get into it. Around the house, uh, I've been carrying this compact and a little night core tube. Really like that, it's just a little night light. It's like I can find my way around at night without waking my wife up. Very lightweight. So easy to carry around the house and has scissors and a knife blade. And that's about all I need around the house. So no surprise here. I've still got a Swiss champ in my pocket and I don't see that uh, going away anytime soon. <laughs> a couple of watches I've worn, a G-Shock 5600. That's about the smallest uh, G-Shock. So really good for small wrists. Got a video on all of this stuff. And a Timex Explorer been carrying this little subord friction knife. Oh, really, really impressed with this little thing. Um, simple, simple, simple. I've uh, been carrying a Case 75. That's a great size. You can get a lot done with that. I think these covers are just beautiful. One side's darker than the other. And there is some blade rub on this, which I've got some case paste here, and I'll rub that out, uh, although it's just going to come back because there is some uh, rubbing on that sheep's foot blade there. But I'm going to put a patina on this as I use it, and uh, that'll just become part of the character of this knife. Uh, something I haven't shown, but I've had these for a long time, and I use them, is... Uh, my pipe lighter. This is a Zippo. And I have another little Zippo that I use for cigars, which all the fluid's gone out of it. And need to recharge that. <laughs> and another Zippo. I may pick up a few more. Uh, I like Zippos. Uh, these two are really, really old and um, well, not really, really old, but they're, I've had them for many years, and uh, they work. Uh, the only thing about Zippos is the fluid evaporates, um, but I, I like them. I like them. Uh, no changes here. I've carried a Sodbuster quite a bit this week, and of course my usual flashlight, Streamlight MicroStream. Some other things that have come in handy this week are my little charging cables. I keep this in my sling bag. And this is the, what is it, a five in one? It's got these little things there. Very handy. Uh, this does not have a USB C, so I carry it on a little extra. And with that, uh, the Anchor power bank. Uh, it's coming really handy. This just lives in my sling bag and uh, I can get a charge anywhere. And my umbrella has come in handy. I've got a video on that. And uh, pens, this Twisby Eco is really fun to write with, really smooth. And uh, I like that you can see the ink. That's kind of neat. I carry this every day. This is the Quebeco Sport and this is my signature pen. I have to sign a lot of documents throughout the day. People are always bringing me things to sign so I can whip that out and sign it. Pretty good for note taking too. And the pencil has not changed. Yeah, Pentel P209. It's a cheap little classic pencil. All right, let's do a quick flip through. All right, so nothing changing with the wallet. Still like that, uh, still holding up really well. This little zipper is holding up really well. I get into this, uh, Eh, two, three times a week, maybe. Uh, so it should uh, hold up for a year or two. Still keeping a stencil and straight edge. It's flexible and um, it's uh, not cracking or, or breaking or anything. It's not rigid at all. So pretty impressed with that as well. And that was another cheap thing. Pacific Arc uh, Pocket Master number PT352. I like the, uh, you know, the little designs that you can add to your 
little bullet journal. This little clip is still working well. I can flip right back to my dailies uh, without having to thumb through everything. If I need to get to my uh, trackers or anything like that, which I don't do as often as my dailies, I'm in this all day long. But these things I'm only using, you know, as needed. So little clip is holding up well. Spending log, still using that. Still really liking this little pocket that we made. Uh, that's a good idea. Now you can do this in almost any journal. Let's just take the first page, cut it halfway, fold it down, tape it around the edges, and you've got a little pocket. Great for receipts. And spending log, keeping track of my spending. And then my collection pages, I've shown these. This is my reading list. This is where I log the tobaccos that I am sampling. Uh, most recently, an Arturo Fuente Gran Reserva. It was a Churchill, so it took about 45 to 60 minutes to smoke. And really, really enjoyed that. Um, I don't think the actual tobacco is as relaxing as just the ritual and that it forces you to, to sit for an hour and, you know, sit in a rocking chair and just enjoy doing nothing but sitting. So I'm not condoning smoking. I'm condoning moderation <laughs> with whatever it is. Uh, spirits, that hasn't changed. And let's go back and look at February real quick. Uh, so, uh, January ended here, and I didn't want to waste this page, so I'm just continuing on with my dailies. And then on this opposite page, that's my February task list. Uh, these are just big tasks that don't really need to be uh, assigned a specific time or day. Still using a monthly spread. Uh, really enjoying that, and I'll fill this out when I get back to work on Monday. And I can look at my Outlooks calendar. Still using a list view. Uh, not as handy, I think, as uh, the calendar spread. But still, it's an important part uh, for me. The way I like to set it up. And then I'll just continue on with my dailies. So that's February. Uh, the same as December and January. And it is shaping up pretty good. Still really enjoying this. It's a great little everyday carry notebook. It's not too thick. Uh, it can ride in the back pocket. Um, and it definitely can ride in my sling bag. A big thanks to everyone who has subscribed and who watches my videos. And I'll catch you on the next one.